I'm outside of EKU's Alumni Coliseum, which later this afternoon will be filled with a lot of emotion as people say goodbye to a fallen hero. The Jessamine County community is remembering fallen paramedic John Mackey. Coming up, we'll show you how he is being honored. A semi-truck driver is in the hospital this midday, and a busy highway in Estill County is closed as crews fish the driver's semi out of the ditch. This is WQIT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. Family, friends, law enforcement officials, and even strangers are preparing to start saying a final goodbye to a police officer killed in the line of duty. Richmond officer Daniel Ellis died Friday, two days after being shot in the head while investigating an attempted robbery. His visitation begins at 2 o'clock at EKU's Alumni Coliseum. WKYT's Mike Byer is live in Madison County now with a preview. It's our top story at noon. Mike. Good afternoon, Bill and Barbara. Many family and friends of fallen Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis have already arrived here at EKU's Alumni Coliseum where they will be able to say goodbye to their loved one. Shortly after 9 a.m., a motorcade of Richmond police left Oldham Powell Funeral Home with Officer Ellis before arriving here at Alumni Coliseum. The arena is where the visitation for the 2005 EKU graduate and seven-year veteran of the Richmond Police Force will be held. It starts at 2 p.m. ending tonight at 8 o'clock. EKU leaders are expecting thousands of people to come out to Officer Ellis's wake. To accommodate those visitors, the university will be keeping the Alumni Coliseum and Whitlock parking lots open to only them. As I mentioned earlier, many family and friends of Officer Ellis have already arrived. They tell us all the love and support shown for their loved one has really helped them during this difficult time. The community's been you know, great, very supportive. I mean, you'd like to see something good come out of this, and you see a lot of warmth and caring, compassion coming from people in Richmond, people around the state, and that's really, that's really good to see that. KU leaders say the visitation is open to anyone that would like to come out and say their respects to Officer Ellis. In order to prepare for the expected thousands of guests, EKU will cancel all classes beginning today at 445, resuming at 430 p.m. on Wednesday. Live in Richmond, Mike Byer, WKYT. Kentucky Governor Steve Beshear has ordered flags at all state office buildings fly at half staff tomorrow in honor of Officer Ellis. There will be a procession following tomorrow's funeral, which will wind its way through Richmond and onto I-75. Officer Ellis will be buried in Adair County. We'll carry off funeral live on WKYT.com. In other news at noon, the Jessamine County community now continuing to mourn a paramedic who was killed in the line of duty. Porches around the city have been lit up with green lights in honor of James Mackey. He was hit by a car last week and remained on life support until yesterday. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is in Nicholasville with reaction as to how he is being remembered. Hillary. The Jessamine County community is remembering fallen paramedic John Mackey by turning their lights green, including here at one of the EMS bases where Mackey worked. Porch lights throughout town now glowing green. This morning, bulbs in the courthouse also switched to honor John Mackey, who died yesterday at UK Hospital after being hit by a vehicle while on the job. The lights at EMS stations throughout the county also changed to green honoring their fallen brother who dedicated his life to serving others. Also a show of remembrance, blue and yellow ribbons now worn by EMS crews. Many around town say it has been a tough past few days with seeing many blue lights for Richmond officer Daniel Ellis and now this tribute for their hometown's paramedic. Those who put up a green light say it is in memory of Mackey and a show of support for others who risk their lives each day while serving their community. Extremely proud of the, ser of the people that we have in this town that serve us, uh, the ambulance and the police and the fire, and they all responded to my accident. So, yes, I'm very proud of them. Funeral arrangements for Mackey are still being finalized. Those are expected to be set later this afternoon. In Jessamine County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Hillary, thank you very much. And Mackey's friends say even though he is gone, the paramedic will continue saving lives as an organ donor. 
A truck driver is recovering this midday after the Pepsi truck he was driving went over an embankment. It happened on Kentucky 89 on the Estill Clark County line around 8 o'clock this morning. The highway was blocked for hours while crews worked to get the truck out. As WKYT's Mark Barber reports, this stretch of roadway has been the scene of several crashes in the past. State police say the semi driver came around the sharp curve here on Highway 89 at the Estill Clark County line and ran off the road. They say they are still trying to figure out which tire marks here on the shoulder of the road are his because they say so many other vehicles have also crashed here. The latest crash happened around 8 this morning when this Pepsi truck flew off the road and flipped into this line of trees. According to state police, the driver was on his way to make his first delivery for the day. Crews closed the highway for several hours as they worked to get the truck back on its tires. The driver was taken to a nearby hospital and then he was rushed to UK hospital. State police don't know how seriously he's hurt. The stretch of highway in Estill County, just two miles from Clark County, has quite the reputation. Investigators say they worked several accidents here in the past few days. As you can tell, this roadway has a downgrade and it's also in a curve, uh, along with the uh, roadway being wet, those factors uh, can create an accident potential. State police say they are still trying to figure out why the Pepsi truck driver ran off the road. In Estill County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. Investigators say fortunately nothing in the truck is leaking into the ground. Well, it is a pleasant fall day here in the bluegrass from a weather standpoint. We have some sunny skies here and there, and temperatures are settling into the 50s. But we're tracking another storm system for later in the week. It could bring a lot of wind this way. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris live now at our first alert weather center with a look ahead. Yeah, look, you got to get over toward the west and the southwest to actually see that sunshine. But that cloud deck is basically just a sheet of clouds, and it's just basically moving like this. It doesn't separate, it just moves all at once. So it's moving toward the east. You can't see it now on radar, but I want to show you that there's no rain out and about. But look at it on satellite. You see that just kind of sliding on out of here. You go down to the far southwestern zones, and we're seeing some sunshine. But you get into everywhere else, yeah, still those clouds out and about. So we're going to be hanging on to that as we go into the rest of the afternoon. East, southeast, don't expect a lot of sunshine today. But I would say in bluegrass, yeah, we'll at least see some later on this afternoon. It's going to take some time. And that would help out temperatures big time. Look at Bowling Green, 56, where you're seeing plenty of sunshine, then go into Lexington at 49 degrees. So that just shows you, yeah, we got to get rid of the clouds to actually bring back some sunny skies and also some better feeling temperatures. 55 by the afternoon, chilly evening in store. And then we look toward tomorrow. We'll have an outlook and the latest update with those weather models on those storms coming up in about 10 minutes. Okay, and we'll see you then, and we thank you. The University of Kentucky is pushing for a better showing in this year's SEC game-winning food drive. UK landed at the bottom of the heap in the competition last year. Five SEC schools collected more than 9,000 cans of food for their communities. The Big Blue Pantry is the recipient of proceeds from Kentucky's food drive, and UK says that about 200 students use that food bank regularly, with more joining every week. You can donate at the Johnson Center, the Patterson Office Tower and University Health Services building through November 30th. Well, Harlan County native Jordan Smith has created quite the internet firestorm, lots of talk. A lot of people very proud of him after another powerful performance on The Voice. Amazing. Smith wrapped up the live playoffs last night performing Halo by Beyonce. Take a listen here. Smith's performance was met with a standing ovation from all four judges. America's vote will now decide if Smith will advance to the next round. All right, could we get our votes in? <laughs> oh, absolutely. How could anyone not want to vote for him? He really is just amazing. Incredible sound. Well, the Republican presidential candidates are on the attack just hours before tonight's fourth GOP debate. We'll have a preview coming up next on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, following his big night at the CMA Awards, 
Kentucky native and country music singer Chris Stapleton now has another reason to celebrate. We'll tell you about his latest achievement coming up on WKYT News at Noon.